did a lot of stuff with Ken Patera. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And, and I watched the match the other day on YouTube. He was easy to work with. And another big, strong guy. had some. He broke some kind of uh, strength and health record at the Olympics. He broke the clean and jerk. Yeah. Oh, the, the power clean thing? Yeah, yeah. He broke that record. I don't know if it still stands, but he's in that that hall, whatever it is, where they keep records on that. Kim Patera, big time Olympic weightlifter. He went through the Vern Gagne School of Wrestling. Kim was around me in, in Charlotte. He actually had a run in New York before I did. He was there, and he bleached his hair blonde and everything. He was there before I came in in 79. That's when Vince was starting to bring guys that could actually wrestle more, because he had a lot of guys up there that, that would take shortcuts in the ring and and pulling hair and gouging eye, all that cheap heat stuff that I try to stay away from. And uh, his houses were down. And that's one reason I got, you know, he called George Scott and says, I, I need some talent up here that can wrestle. And he sent me there. And I'm, you know, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, George. And he, he's another one that passed away. So. Yeah, another guy that doesn't get the probably the credit he deserves, uh, George Scott. You know, you don't hear his name in modern. Yeah, you know. so he was the reason I went by that earlier where he actually became, he got me booked in New York and five years later he he came up and, and worked with Vince in the office and suggested that I get the uh, Intercontinental belt. So, you know, I was one of his guys. Ricky Steamboat, he got Ricky Steamboat in there. He ended up bringing uh, uh, Demolition in, in there, you know. Couldn't get the Road Warriors, so the Demolition had the leather thing going. So George was a great guy, great guy. And a lot of people try to say he wasn't original, but he had he did everything on memory. So why? You know, he had original, I, th I believe he had original thoughts, you know. Okay. Pat Patterson was in the, in the booking office too, and Pat was... You know, another guy passed away just recently, but Pat was great. He was great on finishes. I don't, you know, he was good on everything. He had a good, good brain on him. You know, we were talking about some of the managers and the interviewers. Lord Alfred Hayes was another guy. Oh, he was great. He had that British accent. He was very good, very articulate, very good. You know, he'd be out there with Monsoon and or whoever he was with, you know, they would use him a lot. So he was real good. And and back in the day, they had the Tuesday Night Titans on USA Network. He had like a talk show. He was uh, Vince McMahon's Ed McMahon. <laughs> yeah. You know, he was the sidekick. And very, very good, Lord Albert Hayes. Did you ever work with him when he was in ring? You know where I worked with him, and this is, sounds funny, but was in Amarillo. Because me and Don Fargo were in there as the Fargo's in and he would tag up with Ricky Romero or Terry Funk, Dory Funk, whoever. He had that British style, but he he was a real nice, gentle soul, easy to work with. Yeah, he was good. 